Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. We're going to do one of those vlogs where I'm not quite sure what's going to happen in it yet, so hopefully the thumbnail will have given you a bit more of an insight as to what's going to be going on in this vlog, because I have no idea. But today is Saturday. It is the 4th of September, I think it is. Let me just double check that, because I could be wrong. It's the 5th. Saturday the 5th of September. Today is also Digital Detox Day. If you haven't heard about Digital Detox Day, I'll leave some information down in the description box. But essentially, it is a day to switch off from social media and have a little bit of a detox from that. So that is what I'm doing. I've actually been doing this a little bit on Saturdays already. I call it a sneaky Saturday where I don't post too much on Instagram and try to be more away from my phone where possible. So today I thought I would do exactly that, but I am picking up the vlog camera because I feel like I'm just talking. I'm not consuming social media, so I don't know if that's cheating or not, but here we are. <laughs> today I am going to a kind of work meeting lunch thing in Essex. So I've actually got quite a long drive to get to Essex. So it's probably gonna be about an hour each way. I've got a taxi coming, which is brilliant. And then after that, if the weather stays okay, it's looking a little bit grey outside, I do want to do a bit of a roof garden tidy up because it's looking a bit scrappy out there. And you may have seen when I went around the loft and had a look at all the stuff that I need to clean out from the loft, there was some decking oil up there that needs using up too. So I thought I could get that down from the attic and then use up the remaining um, decking oil on the bits that have gone a little bit scrappy and just give it a bit of a good old tidy up as we're heading into autumn, check how the plants are doing and that sort of thing. And then we'll see uh, where this goes. I'll just um, yeah vlog what I'm up to as and when. So before we jump into the video, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this vlog, give it a little thumbs up. Okay, I'm gonna finish my coffee, and then the taxi will be here in five minutes, and we'll go to Essex. And I've just got home and made myself a cup of tea, had a nice bit of lunch in Essex and the meeting went really well and it's looking quite sunny outside now so I think I'm going to go and do a little bit on the roof garden. I'll do about an hour out there. It is nearly half past, what is it, half past five so it took me a good hour to get back um, and yeah do a bit of um, work out on the roof garden, get that looking tidy while the weather's looking all right. And I'll put some of the decking stain down and yeah, just have a quiet night tonight, I think. I've been watching The Fall. Have any of you been watching that? It's trending on Netflix at the minute. I thought it was new. I am so behind when it comes to stuff on Netflix and television and that kind of stuff. I'm always like the last one to the party when it comes to anything that people are watching. <laughs> and I thought it was brand new. And then, um, yeah, I've discovered that it's actually... I think from 2013 or something like that. Um, yeah, I believe so. Many of you probably watched the whole series already, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm on the first, oh, I'm on the second series now actually, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying that. So if you haven't already watched it, it's a good kind of detective, murder, drama type thing set in um, Belfast in Ireland and yeah, really enjoying it. So good one for kind of like cozy autumn evenings, quite gripping. Um, easy watch and they're one hour episodes as well but they fly by because it's really good. Anyway I'll stop rabbiting on about something that you've probably already watched already <laughs> and um, finish the tea and then we'll get outside and get tidying up on the roof garden. Mm -hmm. 
So it's not looking too bad out here, but I just want to give it a quick tidy up, put some of the pots into the corners a bit more, and look at this. This has just flowered, and I got the bulbs from Poundland, so I'm really pleased that these gladioli have flowered. We've got one here, and we've also got one over there as well. I've actually attached it to some canes to keep it standing upright. And I need to deadhead the geraniums, but we've got a few more um, on the way as well. So yeah, I'll give those a quick sort out. Bit of weeding to be done. This stuff keeps coming back. So we'll get involved with those as well. But yeah, we've had some rain, so that was rubbish, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't get the roots. We'll go back and sort that in a minute. But yeah, we've had lots of rain recently, so it's all looking quite green out here. This one's not looking too healthy. I'm not sure what's happened to this. And I've cut back the hydrangea, um, so I think that might be it for this year. Although, yeah, it's looking quite healthy, so we shall see. I'll keep you posted if anything appears before the end of the year. The snails have been at this one. And then we've got Hermione and Catherine chilling out with their selfie camera as usual. And we've got a sunflower on the way. I think I might put this down and straighten it up. One of them. It was flowering, so it seems to have closed. I'm not sure what's going on. I think it needs some water. I can't get up alone. Too heavy on my own. The world is moving on. I'm still standing here. I'm going to use these clamps that I got from Poundland to attach this to the table here so hopefully it will stand up and flower for steady ground a place to settle down no reasons left to find one day I'll change your mind and it won't And I'm not sure what these are, but these have flowered really nicely. This was tiny before, so that's come up really well. And this is dried up hydrangea heads that I chopped off and then probably had a bit of wine time, to be honest with you, and forgot to clean them up and now they've all stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna get involved with those now and get rid of all of this. I won't give up, I'll take my chances And I will follow you how much it takes no reasons left behind one day I'll make you mine and it won't come easy but I know it's worth the fight so I found the paint that I'm going to use to do a little touch up on the decking it's this one by Colt Prinol and it's black ash and I also, where are we? Hello, we're a bit zoomed in. <laughs> Let's zoom out a bit. I've also found these pumpkins that I had stored under the bench on coasters, on casters, coasters, casters, <laughs> that I had stored some pops and things and you may have seen that on a previous roof garden video. So I've just pulled these out as we're heading into the autumn and Halloween's coming up. So I'm going to put these out on display in the garden. I've got three in total. I got these a few years ago in Sainsbury's. You may remember this plant that I got in a recent charity shop haul. This was 99p from Trade. I'm going to bend the hook or figure out how I can just attach it somewhere along the fence, I think. Maybe pop something in there.
And there we go. So I've literally just touched up any chipped bits of the decking with the paint, used that up so we can get rid of that tin now. One less thing for the loft. And yeah, put the pumpkins out and very minimal tidy up. But I feel like it just looks a little bit tidier and smarter out here now, ready to head into autumn. That's what we need, a real pumpkin soon. Maybe we'll do a little display of them out here. I'm going to light a candle as we go into evening. Did you catch the come shopping in home sense with me video? I'll link it in the description box. This is one of the things that I picked up from there. The other one's been burning in the bedroom and I'm going to light the other one now to have down here in the living room and I think we'll do something with this box. Not sure what, I'm thinking maybe some kitchen utensils or it might be quite nice to have in my craft cupboard and I might put two jars inside there, pens, brushes, that sort of vibe. Might even use the ribbon. <laughs> we might as well go full, full recycle, upcycle. This is going to go with the greetings cards. That'll probably be coming on someone's present very soon. It's my wrap up for gift. Right, let's get this lit. I'm so glad that I spent that probably just half an hour out on the roof garden just to give it a little tidy up because every morning on Instagram I tend to post a little story of the roof garden and it kind of been bothering me that all the dead leaves from the or um dead leaves or heads the heads flowers petals from the hydrangea were just kind of piled up and decomposing on the deck and they kind of just looked like something horrible <laughs> but I couldn't be bothered to go out and sort it out so it's been sort of bothering me for a good week or two and sometimes you just don't get around to things do you I think um everyone's quite busy so yeah it was good just to give it that little bit of attention and make it look a little bit nicer when I look out there or when I go out there we have still got a few nice evenings um as summer's drawing to an end so yeah I'll hopefully get out on the roof garden for a couple of evenings I think before the year's out so Nice to have it, have it a little bit tidier too. And what I'm going to do now is film a unboxing, which will already be up actually, the way I'm gonna schedule these videos. It will already be up. So if you want to have a look at a second-hand luxury unboxing, I feel like I've got a bit of a steal, but I've also, um, yeah, splashed out a little bit on something that I've wanted for years. Let's give you a sneak peek, but you might have already seen it, I suppose, if if you've watched that video already, but just in case you haven't or if you're new here, um, it will be linked to the description box. Second-hand luxury unboxing. There's a peep. Ooh, hello. <laughs> well, I'm so excited about this one, um, and I think I'm going to do a future video on it about sort of um, getting it back to its original condition because it's a vintage piece, two pieces in fact. Um, so yeah, I'll be maybe doing a second video on getting them back to as good as they can be. But they're in pretty good condition. I'm absolutely delighted with them. So hopefully you'll enjoy that video too. If you like the secondhand thrifting, it's not thrifted actually, it was a secondhand purchase though. But if you're into maybe designer luxury kind of items too, as I am, but we all are on a budget, aren't we? Let's face it, there's not too much of it in my wardrobe, but when I do get the opportunity, I do love um, certain pieces. And this is, as I say, something I've had my eye on for a very, very long time, for years in fact. So um, yeah, absolutely pleased with that and hopefully you will like it too. So that video's in the description box. I am rambling on, so I'll go and film that now. And yeah, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Hello, it is Sunday now. I'm at my friend Helen's house. We have a green screen and we have Helen. Hi, God, this is so green. How are you feeling? I feel like we should put a different background on. You could do like the weather or something. Yeah, I could be pointing at clouds yeah. in a knowledgeable way. Um, so, no, you've been very um, helpful with me today, you and I tried. And also, you're quite sweaty. <laughs> no, it's not um, showing. And um, I normally sweat a lot when I'm filming, so. Yeah, and you were talking yeah. about powder. Yes. Which is helpful. Yes. Um, and it's because when I looked at some of the takes, I had a little sort of. Globule, <laughs> like a little moustache. Well, I think, I think yeah. it's a sweat. It's a, it's a common issue when one's got <laughs> lamps up, so we won't worry about that. Yeah, no, no, no. I think I've powdered down. So we've done this. You smashed through that. 
I actually met Helen a good few years ago. What year did we meet? Can you remember what year it was? Oh my god. <laughs> Where are you? It was like... There we are. Probably um, about ten years ago. <laughs> I don't think... It was, was it? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm pretending. It, it was a long time ago, but I just had a, a little thought because the green screen's given me a little flashback to... Um, yes. Um, do you remember the, the damp barracks that we, yeah. we did some shooting in? We actually worked together on a green screen setup, so this is kind of familiar territory. And different. costumes. Lots yes. of kind of strange costumes which I didn't understand and I just said the line that I was told to say and then it looked <laughs> completely different when they put it all together. Well if I can find a little um, still, I'll pop it in, a little transformation. Here is Helen in different green screen yes. situation. I'll try and find that and pop it in. <laughs> And now I'm going to take you out into the garden and show you how fab it's looking out there because there's flowers and all sorts yes, of things. lovely flowers. You'll love it. So let me just quickly show you the garden and how beautiful it's looking out here. Helen's even got some branded hand sanitizer, which I'm very impressed with. Let me show you. How about that? That is attention to detail for you. We've got all the books here and the garden is looking lovely. Little areas for people so that social distancing can take place as well. Hello, it is Monday now. I'm playing catch up at the laptop today, doing lots of bits of editing and admin emails that sort of thing typical monday um i had a bit of a late one last night i got all the filming with helen finished and that um i think will be up on youtube now actually so what i'm going to do is link the comedy women in print uh, youtube channel down in the description box so you can go over there and have a look and see the awards from this year and see all the winners and also hopefully that will give you some ideas of some books to read because of course all the um, nominees and winners are um, authors or unpublished authors I should say as well so yeah definitely go and check out their YouTube channel and subscribe while you're over there and hopefully it'll give you some um, ideas and nice things to read as we go into autumn as well but yeah I'm just sat here um, getting lots of stuff done I'm um, trying to get a little bit ahead this week so I've got another busy week ahead of me lots of exciting things are happening tomorrow I'm going up to Leeds so I'll tell you a bit more about that tomorrow um, and yeah I'm just gonna have a desk day so there's probably not much to update you on today. I might also go for a little run later because it's looking quite nice outside. It doesn't look too cold and it looks like it's not going to rain today as well. And I haven't been running for ages so we'll probably do that too. But yeah, just going to crack on with some work now. So that's it. <laughs> I will see you later. And it is quarter to six now and I've been most at the laptop today and I popped out very briefly just to go to the post office to post off a couple of bits and now I think I'm going to run a bath, I'm going to fake tan, I'm going to sort my beard out, get myself looking presentable for tomorrow and then just make some dinner and get an early night and then I'll see you probably on the train tomorrow. and I have just got to Kings Cross Station. I nearly said Leeds Station, but Leeds is where I'm heading to this morning. I'm actually doing a screen test in Leeds, so I'm heading to a studio. I'm gonna do a screen test for something. So wish me luck, because <laughs> I'm nervous. I am actually pooing myself, but um, there's emergency bananas in my bag. I've got a change of clothes with me, because I thought I'll get changed when I get there, because knowing me, I'll be spilling food all down myself on the train. And my train's at half past seven, so yeah, I've just gone to get a coffee and some porridge to have on the train. I haven't been on a train, let me think. I haven't been on one out of London anywhere for ages, like since before lockdown. I've been on a train just in London, but I haven't been anywhere 
like far on the train so quite excited <laughs> it's quite a novelty to be going somewhere today and yeah it'll be nice to um, pop up to Leeds I'm just going for the day and coming back at I think uh, two o'clock this afternoon so yeah a bit of a whistle stop tour but I've got my laptop charged up as well so I can do some work Bus on the train to too and on put my mask on I'm not near anybody right now so um, that's all good but I'm gonna put my mask on and get on the train as soon as that arrives at the platform and it is nice and quiet for this time of the morning I'm hoping the train's going to be nice and quiet as well I've got my outfit here I've gone for some chinos and a pink t-shirt and I'm gonna wear this rust kind of burgundy colored jacket over the top and I'm gonna to have to get changed on the train I think because they told me to arrive camera ready because I think they've got um, restrictions in place because of Covid obviously they can't have too many people in various rooms and stuff so I'm going to get changed on the train. Done. So I've just got out. Everything went as well as I think it possibly could have done, which is good. And now I have got 20 minutes until my taxi back to the station. I'm going to head back to London. So it's been a very flying visit today. I haven't seen any of Leeds itself, just the dock area. And yeah, heading back now. So I've just ordered a little coffee. I've gone and got a Tesco meal deal. I've got some sushi and some salt and vinegar hula hoops for the train and some LucasAid because I'm absolutely flagging. <laughs> Didn't get any lunch, which is why when I say about my emergency banana, I always pack an emergency banana because I never know when a lunch break's gonna be sometimes. So yeah, I was very grateful of my emergency banana today. But I'm gonna do some work on the train and then what are we doing tomorrow, Wednesday? I think I've got a day at home tomorrow, which will be nice. Good morning, it is Wednesday and I struggled to get up today. I think I was quite tired after yesterday. You know when you've got like nervous energy going on, I think there was a lot of that yesterday and I think it wiped me out. I struggled, oh my god I can't even talk. <laughs> so I struggled to get up today um, but I've had to get up because I'm actually off for a Covid test this morning. I don't have any symptoms of Covid or anything like that so don't worry. It's just a precaution for a bit of work that I'm doing actually so I'm going to get tested just to make sure that I am Covid free um, just for a little job. So that's what I'm off to do today. So I'll let you know how that goes because obviously um, I haven't had one before. And yeah, in case any of you are having to do the same for any of your work situations or anything like that, um, yeah, I just thought um, I'd let you know afterwards um, how that goes. So I just made myself a quick coffee and I'm going to be heading out the door in about five minutes. I've got cosy hoodie on today, glasses situation, because I'm just going to spend the rest of the day pretty much at home. I've got a meeting on the phone at three o'clock as well um, in regards to the loft as well. So I'm going to start getting things moving with that too. So. Yes, um, drink the coffee quickly now. So I've now got four minutes probably. <laughs> Look at the state of me. <coughs> Excuse me, I feel like I'm an absolute disaster this morning. And what was I going to say? Oh yeah, mask and glasses don't really vibe together. I've been steamed up all the way here. <laughs> Desperate to get involved with my coffee. So I'm outside a place that says health check, so I'm in the right place I think. So I'm going to pop in now, get this over and over. I'll see you afterwards. Why do I say things like that? You know I'll see you afterwards. It's not the end of the vlog, is it? All done, it was okay. It wasn't the most enjoyable experience, but it wasn't 
painful or anything like that. I would describe it as maybe just slightly sort of uncomfortable. So there was a swab down the back of the throat and they kind of swabbed around a bit. So yeah, not too long. And then the same up each nostril, which I didn't enjoy, but it wasn't awful. So be reassured that if you need to do the test, it's okay. Um, nothing for you to worry about. And it's quite noisy here, so I hope you can hear me okay. There's a chap over there, looks like he's jet washing the paving slabs. And then we've got the sprinklers going on behind me as well. So just sitting here in Finsbury Circus because I've got 15 minutes until my taxi home. So I'm just gonna sit here and drink the coffee that I bought with me but I couldn't drink in the taxi. Just chill out for a bit. <laughs> Have some fresh air. I don't know what I'm doing this week. Uh. Does anyone else sometimes feel like that? I don't know if I'm coming or going. Apart from it being very noisy this morning, this is a lovely little space if ever you're in this area. Come and escape the hustle and bustle. I might have chosen a bad bench because I think the sprinkler situation keeps getting closer. I keep feeling a little bit wet on the back of my neck. Oh, and above me. How is the tree? I don't know how that water's traveling, but yeah, I'm starting to get a bit damp, so I'm gonna move. Okay, I'm home. I popped into Poundland on the way home and I snapped some of the Halloween stuff that's in store. So if you want to see any new Halloween bits in Poundland, I'll pop those over on Mr. Carrington Home on my stories and I'll save them as a highlight over there. I also picked up this while I was in there. It's this huge, well, fairly big, laundry basket. Um, and I thought this would be really handy for when I take washing out of the washing machine to transport it out onto the roof garden. So I'll often take the washing out and then loads of socks fall on the decking and stuff. So I thought that'd be good. And that was two pounds, so I thought that was quite nice. And with it being gray, will go quite nicely in the bathroom. And the sticker says, medium hipster laundry basket. So it's a hipster laundry basket. So yeah, been hanging around East London, drinking posh coffees and probably got a moustache somewhere. And I also popped into Greg's because Greg's was there calling me as so I was walking past it. So I got myself a cheeky baguette. We've got a chicken and mayonnaise baguette situation and a vegan sausage roll with a Diet Coke. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy my lunch now and I'm going to crack on with some work. Good morning. Look at this. <laughs> days. This is the situation. It is now Friday. I skipped vlogging yesterday and now I am cleaning the bathroom and dyeing my beard. And I'm thinking of getting rid of this table. Let me show you. So some of you may have seen the, what we're calling the orange slice table already. I think it's too big for this flat. So I'm going to part with it rather than spend ages trying to upcycle it and make it beautiful. I've decided that I think it would be better just to pass it on so I'm going to get rid of it today and clear this space because having lived with it for a while I just keep knocking into it and yeah I just don't think it quite works in here sadly. Then I thought about chopping it up and turning it into maybe like a, a shelf with like an arch going over the top and I thought it's a really nice piece as it is so maybe it'd be a shame to do that and maybe somebody else could take it instead because yeah um, hopefully someone else can get a top for it and have it in their home instead. So not everything that I find from the skip or throw now always works, and this is one of those items. So it is off to a new home. Bye bye, lovely half orange table thing. And now I'm gonna crack on with cleaning the bathroom while my beard dye sets. So it takes 20 minutes, it's like a little window, little power session, so I'm gonna blast through a bit of speed cleaning in here and then rinse this off. I do apologize, this is not the look. Not the look at all. I'm starting a really big, exciting project tomorrow and hope to be able to share a bit more about that in the future, but I want to look my best. I don't want to be looking like this. So we're having a little 
sort myself out, sort the bathroom out, morning today. I've decided as well that all of these drawers which have things in them, I think I can get all of these things into the storage baskets on the shelves and then take these drawers elsewhere so it's one less piece of furniture in here too. So I'm going to do that now. Got a lot of face masks. <laughs> means it's time to rinse my beard. I'll just show you where I have put the, what do you call it? The shower caddy. So I've hung that on the glass off to the side. I need to clean all this side, so excuse that. But that's meant that all the bottles are off the bath, which makes cleaning it so much easier. So I've just blitzed around that, and then everything's sort of tucked away around the corner there. You don't even notice it when you come in. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that's looking. I'm gonna move that mirror in a moment. Excuse that. <laughs> I'm a bit of a tidy up. I'll show you when it's all done. I'm going to have a go at these shutters while I'm here. So these only open to the side because I did rescue them from a skip. <laughs> so what I want to do is take this hinge off in the middle bit and then attach this one to that side, if that makes sense. So they can open up from the middle, which will be much easier to let some light in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to attempt that now. And these are the brackets that I'm using. So they're kind of like a hinge, but with a piece in between. So it kind of juts out. So you've got a bit of additional um, space there between where the shutter will sit and the window frame itself. So it will stand slightly proud of the window. And yeah, hopefully that will do the trick. So I'm going to fix that on now. And we're all done. So now we can open from each side. And I think that's a lot neater. We'll just keep one half closed and have yeah, the other one like that. What I might do is keep my eyes peeled now because there's only one knob on here. So if I see one when I'm out and about or next time the sale hits at Anthropology, we might get some little bit more decorative knobs on there. But yeah, it does need a little paint up as well. Might just do it. Um, pure white I think when I do get around to that job but yeah pleased with that it's looking good the old uh, some people ask do I keep hold of Poundland DIYs here is one that I have kept hold of and it sits here above the loo and I've got the Febreze uh, air freshener on the go which I love I've turned the brightness up in case you're wondering why <laughs> everything's looking so bright it was a bit silhouette in here when I was filming just now Okay, this is the situation. So I've moved the table back in here and I've also popped some candles here and these are bath oils. So that's all really nice. We'll call that the relaxation station. <laughs> and then I've got this plant, which is looking all right. I think it might benefit from the um, humidity in here. It's been in here before, I think, um, and I think it liked it. And then here I've added this new bath mat that was from Poundland. You may have seen in the recent haul, that was only three pounds and I've doubled it over. So that's really nice because I can just throw that in the wash. The rug that's down here is actually from Lidl and it's an outdoor rug. The floor's quite worse for wearing the bathroom, so that's a good little, um, I guess like a little disguise, we'll call it, because the floor is actually made of like a board, so it hasn't um, done well as you can see occasionally where there's some water spillage or if I've been cleaning and some water's got into the gaps So at some point this will all be replaced, but for now the rug makes a nice little Yeah disguise so you can't see all the <laughs> bits where it's come up where the bath um, Overflowed a bit and then the woods peeling a bit so things aren't perfect, but there we are I've got other things on my mind basically the loft first and then we'll worry about this But yeah, it's looking better in here now. I feel like it's all nice and clean Nice and tidy. I might have a little bath tonight 
now that it's all um, sparkling. That plug there is just uh, the outdoor lights to the roof garden that I actually have to thread right the way through the, um, what do you call it? The room we're in, the bathroom. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think some of the cleaning products have gone to my head. Right, I'm gonna get showered now and then I'm gonna do my fake tan. Good morning, it is Saturday. I'm up bright and early today. Um, it now is nearly eight o'clock in the morning and I'm just about to go off on a job. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here today. So I think it's been, how long have we been vlogging? <laughs> I need a coffee, you can tell. How long have we been vlogging for? It's been quite a few days, hasn't it? So I'm gonna end the vlog here, I think, get this one edited, and this will be uploaded for you. I think you'll be watching this on a Sunday. So um, if it's Sunday when you're watching this, I hope you have a lovely rest of your weekend, whatever you're up to. Do let me know down in the comments and what you're up to this weekend as well. I'd love to see what you're getting up to. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it's been a bit random, a bit all over the shop, but it has been quite a bonkers week. And next week is going to be equally as bonkers I think um, but yes I hope you enjoyed it um, don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram it's Mr Carrington and Mr Carrington home I need to sort my hair out give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye, bye.